Welcome back, guys. So we have discussed the, the K nearest neighbor, and now we have a bunch of uh, uh, nearest neighbor in, into, into our uh, table. But now what we are going to do, we might have hundreds or maybe thousands of neighbors of, of this user. Uh, what we are interested in, in, in finding the 10 nearest neighbor, right? Out of those hundreds or thousands of uh, a user, I'm just interested in those 10 users, which are closer to, to this, this user, right? So now what I'm going to do as a, as a next step, I'm going to now run the loop again, and because I need to get the 10 nearest neighbor, and uh, let me first come towards the, the query. So you can see I have the, the, the query, which is obviously calculating the rank. And that rank, if you remember, that's why we discussed the Windows analytical function. That rank is based on the KNN score. And I'm actually allocating the rank or, or the row number to the uh, based on the, the lowest value towards the highest value. So for example, the lowest KNN uh, score is going to have the row number one, then whatever is uh, greater than the lowest one, which will get two, and then it will continue till till the last row, right? So you can see, and obviously, and once I allocate the 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 row number, I'm putting a, 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 an outer query on it because I want to apply the condition because that rank, I want to get the first 10 rank, right? Because uh, or uh, if uh, I have the K value of 20, then I'm going to get the 20 ranks, right? Which is obviously the 20 lowest K nearest neighbor score or in a simple term, the, the 20 nearest neighbor to that user, right? So that, that's the uh, simple loop which is gonna actually uh, run and you know, gonna get the, the, the nearest neighbor from the from the list. And you can see I'm extracting it from the KNN list. That's why, that's why I'm actually putting my, uh, I was putting my uh, uh, records into that list because now I can easily extract the nearest neighbors uh, from, from that list. So, and I'm putting that into the recommendation table because that, that, that's uh, where I want to uh, uh, recommend uh, the, uh, the, the, the books to, to my user, right? And you can see in the recommendation, all I'm doing, because I have the user, I'm actually putting all the user ID with, with the ISPN. So it's going to be duplicated because one user has multiple ISPN, but that, that's something I want to do because I want to keep the full log. So that recommendation table is more like a log table, which we are going to use to generate the recommendation. And I'm gonna explain it later, how we are going to run that, right? Now, one thing you need to understand in the recommendation, we have multiple approaches. We can use the, the most common book between all these nearest neighbor and then recommend that to, to, to my user. Or we can see the most like the book between these user and we can recommend that to, to our, our user, right? It's not a, a silver bullet or it's not a static solution. It really depends on uh, uh, business to business or, or scenario to scenario. Maybe one thing which is working for me might not work for you, right? So you need to apply one technique, see the feedback and then change it if the feedback is not up to the the up to the mark right so that that's where you need to be very careful we have multiple approaches you can start with one and then you can refine based on customer feedback whether uh, the uh, the user is uh, uh, taking that recommendation or not if it's not taking then obviously apply the other technique and then you know we go uh, 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 through the process and that that's all we normally do as far once we have deploy the solution uh, the solution in production and we are getting the feedback and then we keep improving uh, the algorithm model or solution based on the customer or user feedback. Now, coming back to, to the solution, we are in the last part of the solution because we have the, the, uh, uh, the recommendation log, which is obviously user, uh, which are the nearest uh, neighbor to my user and the ISPN, the books they are uh, 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 reading. So what I'm going to do now, First, I'm going to do, because I'm applying the most common uh, technique in here. So I'm actually calculating the most common book between all these users, which are sitting in this uh, recommendation table. And based on the highest number, I'm actually giving the ranks. So it's completely opposite. So whatever book is most common, uh, uh, obviously that is going to have a highest count into, into, uh, into, my, uh, into my list. 
So I'm ranking it as a, 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 as a one, right? And then obviously the sequence will go uh, uh, to towards the towards the lower one, right? And then I'm linking it back to to my uh, uh, to to my uh, a table. Uh, recommendation table because I want to get the user ID as well with, with that ranking, right? So the, that, that, that's uh, something you need to understand why I'm actually, so I've already calculated the rank. I'm getting the ISPN number uh, by ranking it. So the, that's the, for example, uh, with the row number and the, the most common uh, count, I'm also getting the rank, but I'm losing the user uh, ID. And if I uh, put the user ID in the group by clause, it's going to actually uh, impact on my account. So that's why as a, I need to put that query in the inner query, and now I need to join it back to my main table because that table has my uh, uh, user ID. So I can get the list of, of, the, of the user ID with the ISPN number. Obviously, it's going to be duplicated, but one thing I know that it's going to have the now most common uh, value, which I need to, uh, which I need for the recommendation, right? And then obviously what uh, I'm going to do, I'm going to actually only take those uh, 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 number of recommendation where the, the rank is less than uh, uh, total recommendation. That's why I'm saying, so for example, we have 20 uh, records. So out of those 20 records, I'm only recommending uh, the, the, the 10, uh, 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 10 uh, records, or for example, if I have, I have passed five recommendations, so this query, this rank ID, because I'm taking the top five, which are the most common, and then I'm gonna uh, store or return as part of my block, right? So uh, this information, I'm keeping it into, into my uh, physical table because that's the final outcome, which is coming as part of my solution so let me just uncomment it and you can see i've already created a table so which is obviously keeping the user id which i'm passing as a parameter and then the nearest neighbor user id isbn which is the book number and the most common count that okay uh is the most uh commonly uh, uh used or uh, between between all the nearest neighbor right obviously if you are going to use the most favorable one we need to look at the the book rating which is the 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 uh, highest between all these users and then we recommend it which is a bit complicated but it's not that complicated once we reach to this point we can easily implement it right so now let me just run it to show you how the solution work so we are all good i believe i'm just dropping the temporary table yeah all tables are gone uh let me just clean up my physical table which i have already created uh and uh ran a couple of times i do believe yeah you can see i have all that data so i'm going to do just for for this demo sake i'm going to get my output table all right so i don't have anything now i'm going to run my solution And these are the tables we have uh, queried uh, as part of discussion. I'm gonna uh, comment it, but that that's done. And now let me come back to my table, the recommendation table. So you're gonna see, wow, we have, uh, we have because it's a small data set. So instead of 10, we have seven recommendation, right? And I can, you know, what I can do, I can link it. My but let's see what books uh, our algorithm is recommending on x dot ISPN is equal to b dot ISP. And right, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to call it x dot because it's ambiguous. And I'm going to show you what we are getting in, in here. Yeah. Wow. So we can see this user uh, is getting a recommendation for Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. 
uh, J.K. Rowling and then publisher. And let me show you because we are going to build the, the front end of this solution in the in the in the next video. So and we're gonna actually yeah. So we have the 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 recommended book. How cool it is! So amazingly, we have the our solution is ready. Uh, the next uh, step, we're going to actually build the, the, the front end. So our user is not going to be bored with all these, you know, uh, fancy, uh, with all these uh, uh, non-fancy uh, SQL interface. So we'll see how we can use the SQL report and how we can use the dashboard to, to show uh, the, the, the output uh, to, to our user who is interacting with our uh, uh, recommendation system. So hopefully uh, you will enjoy the, the, the implementation of recommendation system using KNS Neighbor within the SQL environment and that it will help you to, to boost your data engineering machine learning skill. Uh, thanks for watching. If you have any question, please post in the, in the comments, more than happy to answer. Otherwise, I'm gonna see you in the next one with the user interface building.